Hey everyone, how's it going? Paul here, and for this month's quick tip, I'm going to take you through a process that most artists will call ink spotting. Um, it's basic inking, but as you can see from the image, it's basically a way to fill in some areas of shadow in 100% black. Um, but in those black areas, we are actually getting these sorts of uh, reverse inks, these sorts of white lines over black. Um, but you can also see that uh, over the white areas, we have black lines over white. Now, how is this achieved? Well, it's actually a very simple process, hence why this is a quick tip. And I'm gonna take you through the process of just combining a shadow and freestyle pass to achieve this effect. With a little addition, I've actually got an environment pass uh, doubling for what I would normally use as an emission pass for to get these wonderful glows out of the windows. So if you're, if you're ever wanting to produce black and white artwork, um, this is a really simple way of producing it. Okay, so let's go over to a, a working file here where you see that I have already rendered a freestyle line pass and I also have uh, rendered a, a color pass but as you can see, um, even though this is the, uh, the same model as the, the Mist Pass tutorial, I've watered this down slightly so all we actually have uh, today is the shadow and environment passes. That's all we really need. We don't need anything else from the image uh, to produce this sort of effect. So what do we need to know? Well, the shadow, if we go ahead and connect the shadow to our output over here, you can see that it's basically a black and white mat. You've got these wonderful black areas, you've got these wonderful white areas. Uh, this is a little slightly problematic, so you know, this is just a modeling uh, faux pas, but you know, it's easily fixed, okay? And so you can use this as sort of like a, a map to say, okay, draw lines here and not here. Now, the normal way of mixing these together is you take your shadow, you would take your line pass, you'd overlap them and all of a sudden you've got these straight inks, okay? Very Sin City, big black areas, some line work on the white. That's okay, but like we do want to see some of the detail, especially in those shadow areas because there's there's no depth here, okay? It, it, it's quite plain, it's very stark, but it's not the look that we're going for. So how do we get that look? Well, it's very important to understand how this shadow mat actually works or how it can be utilized, all right? So here in this conventional setting, what we could do is use this as a factor. So let's go ahead and um, show up these lines over here on, on white, okay? And instead of passing the shadow mat through the first input, what we're gonna do is we're going to make it the factor. And now you can actually see how only the lines in the shadow areas are etched out, okay? That's really good for our black lines, but what about our white lines? Well, this is where we get a little bit clever uh, with our compositing, and we bring in Shift-A, Color, Invert, and we do an Invert node. And now you can see that we've got the black lines in the shadow areas, okay? If we remember where the shadow was, okay? That's all the black areas that you can see on screen right now. Uh, and so those lines are now only etched out in there, but that's all well and good, but we need those in white. How do we do that? Well, let's go ahead and change that background color to black so we can more properly see this. And instead of using the image output from your freestyle lines, let's use the alpha output, okay? And now you see that the alpha is actually white lines, right? And that's etched over only the black areas of the shadow. Now you notice that there's a, a bit of artifacting down here, but that's because those areas are also produced by shadows. Now that we understand how uh, the shadow mat can work, either inverse or straight, uh, now all we need to do is combine those passes. So here's how we do it. For ease of use, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch this out to a viewing node and I'm going to go into my full compositor so it becomes our background and we can use these nodes over the image as we work. Okay, so we can probably shut down this viewer. So we know that we're looking at the shadow pass right now. And we need to combine this line work over just those white areas. So let's go ahead and Shift A, bring in 
a mix node and let's mix in our line work and let's switch our shadow to the factor, okay? And make sure that the alpha of this second operation is made. Okay, so there we've got our first set of lines. Let's duplicate this and let's bring in an invert node, shift A, color, invert. And let's attach the shadow to that invert layer and let's make it the factor of this second input and we're going to make the alpha the second input again but instead of making this a color what we want is to have the combined image of the first pass into that and so when we connect that now what we get is clean white lines only in the black areas combined with the black lines in the white areas and there we have a basic um, ink spot, if you will, or an inking pass with this wonderful uh, sort of mixing of white lines over black, black lines over light, white. But to just give it that value add of a black and white image, I'm going to go ahead and use our environment pass. Let's take a look at what that looks like, okay? You can see that the environment pass is just everything uh, and a little bit of light coming through the brickwork here, uh, <laughs> which just speaks more to my modeling uh, rather than the, the process. And what we want to do is we want to blow this out with a glow. And so we're going to go Shift A and bring in our glare filter, setting that to fog glow. Drop our threshold so we get this wonderful glow through the windows, okay? and then combine it with our inking pass using an add operation. And we bring in our com combined picture as the first input, our glare as the second input, and our total should look like this. And there you have it. This is how we do a lovely black and white image uh, for a finished black and white comic, if you will. Um, and yes, there are a few problematic areas. As you can see, some of the light spilling in here uh, from bad modeling is producing this ugly line, which would have to go back and get fixed. And there's a few areas of brickwork where light is showing through. But other than that, uh, this basically gives you the, um, the idea of how this is achieved uh, through the compositor uh, and again, this is one of those situations where the sample rate can be bumped really, really low. It's maybe like four or eight if you really want to bump that up. Um, okay, but uh, that's the quick tip for today. The demo file is available through the link in the notes under the video um, from a free post on Patreon. Um, so please subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, or if you're feeling generous, you can always support me at Patreon uh, for as little as a dollar a month so that this enables me to continue making these videos and putting them up here on YouTube as well as Patreon every month. Okay, this is Paul signing off. Bye for now.